Hi friends, welcome back to my crafty desk. Sandra here at Blossom and Inspire. And I am working on some journal cards. I guess they can be journal cards. They can be tags and journal cards or whatever, but I make, I wanna make some thank yous and things, just things that I have re ready um, to send out to for thank yous for whatever. But um, I also need to make sure I have stuff ready for my um, little um, store that I've kind of testing the waters with with the Kofi or Kofi coffee coffee bean I don't know <laughs> ko fi so um, if you um, want to know what I'm talking about there will be a link in the description box you can go and check it out you know no obligation to do anything but you can go check it out if you want to and then hopefully someday I'll learn how to pronounce it right <laughs> but anyhow what I'm using is I love using my um, Oh, what are these called? You know, flashcards. Flashcards. I like to use the flashcards for stuff like this because they're nice and sturdy. Sometimes I find them to be a little bit too heavy, in, depending on the journal that I'm making for the journal, but not always. But they, once you get them layered up, you know, they're quite thick. So I do like them. So here's a few that I have left that I was working on, just some collaging on the front. Um, and I do I like to put some planer stuff on the back just for... Um, journaling and things like that. This is the project that I was going to do, starting, wanting to start when I ended up pulling my scraps out and I thought, oh my gosh, I can't function in my scraps. So they are cleaned out. Um, and these, th this is probably gonna be intermingled in between my four scrap catastrophe videos <laughs> because I had to do it. It took me over four hours to do all that. And if I'm gonna be done in my craft room working, I'm going to video um, if you don't like that type of thing, just skip it. I, and, but I will be putting other things in between them to break it up a little bit. So some of the timelines might be a little mixed up. So I have my colorful stuff that I want to work with. And I have my neutrals right here that I want to work with. And then I have some other things over to the side. Um, so I'll just show you because I'll be grabbing at those between these couple of videos that I'll be doing. So I have some, in, some words and sentiments. I've tried many different ways to organize them. With the way my hands work, I'm finding it easier just to toss everything in a tray like so. And same thing here. So I've got a couple of those going on. It's not the only things I have going on for my words, but that's all I'm going to grab. Trying to limit myself to, and that's a lot, but I'm still trying to limit myself to what I bring to my desk. And then things, images, things that I've already cut out or things that I thought I was going to like um, and I haven't used yet. And I just have them here and ready. I have other things I can go for, but I really need to try to use what's in my trays because I constantly am filling my trays with stuff. So these are, so I have all that right over next to me on my little table. And then I also have my scraps, my textured scraps, if I want to use some of these, which I do like. All right, now that we have all that chit chat done, let's get into this. So I grab some cards. The first thing I like to do is I like to back my cards um, with whatever I'm going to use for my journaling spot. And I thought this would be fun. I have so much paper, as you know, I have. So, I love to go thrifting, so I find tons and tons of different things. So I thought, I'm gonna have fun this time, and I'm gonna use this really cool, um, What it, I don't know what kind of paper it is, it's the Mead Corporation, anyways. I thought this would be fun. I've got lines on this side if I wanna use, or if I want to do the plane, I can do that side, it doesn't matter. Um, I got a couple of those. I pulled out from, I pulled this from my paper stash. I have a notebook with this stuff in there and there's so many of them I thought I, I can use it. You know what, I can use it and I have this one. I also have some coffee dye on the side if I choose to do that. But for now, I just wanna get some of these laid down. So I just decide, cause I can see through these papers, what one would I prefer to see through on the other side? I prefer to see blue or green. I also want to clip my thing to match that side. I don't always do that, but I think I'm going to for these ones. And I'm just gonna do the biggest one and see how that works over there. I don't, it doesn't always match. See, it's not gonna match. So I suppose that's not gonna work. Or do I just do a an auspicious, no, would it come, would it come across as auspicious or just crooked? I think it's just gonna be crooked. So maybe we won't do that. So since I'm gonna cover this, I don't think I'll see my bend um, that I'm gonna do here. This is the easiest way for me to do this. So I'm gonna just match those together like that and then I'm just gonna cut that down like that. Okay. That is gonna, that, that's fine with me. So I think 
I'm gonna do that. And maybe I'll do that on a couple of them here real quick. So I hope everybody's doing well. How do you like my, how do you like the Scraptastrophe videos? Do you, do you find those relaxing just to listen to? Sometimes I like video, I, sometimes for me, I'll look for videos that I can just listen to my friends talk and um, just kind of when they're cleaning up and it just inspires me to also just clean up or just have a, like a, just a crafting time where I can just craft without having to watch specifically everything that's happening, if that makes any sense. So I like them, so I just do, I do them because I like them to watch them myself. But I have four of those <laughs> videos already and I, I stopped. I still have more, st I still have more stuff to clean out and organize, but I thought I should probably give it a, give it a break. And, and then these ones right here I have, and they're all rounded already. That's how they came, so that work's been done for me. I'm like that. Okay, so let's, let's get these ones down. And I can always um, clip them after I cover them because I'm gonna be cutting around it again, but I just find it easier to do, when I do it this way, to do it beforehand, because that's the way I like to do it, and then I don't have to have that crease. It's gonna show up a little bit, and the camera's picking that up. But it's, I don't want it to show up on there. So, um, I think I'm gonna go for the green to be showing through. And the, all I do is, oh, get my glue undone. Oh, it's gonna be empty pretty soon. I just glue around this. Sometimes I sew on these and sometimes I don't. If I sew on these cards, I um, definitely go slower. I'm not the, I'm not, I'm not a um, savvy sewer, so. Um, I go slower because I'm terrified that my, it's so thick and heavy that I think my, I don't want to break my needle. I've never done that yet. I don't know why I'm so terrified of it, but I have a, but um, I, I break my thread. So that does happen to me. So then I'm just going to lay these down and then decorate the fronts. But these are fun. Does anybody else make these? And I have my wet rag here, but I also need a wipey and my squisher, my squisher, my, um, you know, burnisher thingy. So I don't really need to worry about that. I'm going to put stuff on top. So we'll just get a few of these down as quickly as I know how to do it. And that ink, I don't know. Don't you know? Huh. Today we're gonna go. Um, so these are these are future videos. Um, I have to I have to video my videos. I can't I um, that I have to do them future 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 wise because um, otherwise I'd never be able to stay caught up. But um, but it's still here for me right now the present moment that I'm talking to you. Is that if that makes any sense? We're going to um, Canada today, across the border, and there's a couple of, um, I don't know what they're, like swap meet type things, um, and we are going, we haven't went this year yet, and now it's just nice because, you know, the borders are open, we can get through them a lot easier now, and so... There's not a big, you know, craziness. The only craziness right now is that it's summertime, so the lines can be lengthy. But we're gonna leave early. My husband, Jason, and I, we're gonna go. We're gonna pick, go pick up. We're gonna go pick up Jamie, and we're going, we're going thrifted because my husband actually does like doing that, and me and Jamie, 100% love doing that. So. Hopefully we go out to breakfast too or something because that's nice. I love going. Some of the food, um, just some things, I don't know, just taste different when you're in a different country. <laughs> Especially the chocolate. Oh my gosh. When I first moved to this little town um, and everybody was like, um, yeah, the chocolate in Canada is way better than the chocolate in the U.S. And I thought, 
it, chocolate's chocolate, isn't it? I was like, is there really that big of a difference? I mean, I know there's expensive chocolate and cheap chocolate, but they're like, no, there's a difference no matter what kind of chocolate you get. It's different if it's made in the U.S. And um, my gosh, it really is. And I definitely prefer the chocolate in Canada. Hands down. I'm not a big milk chocolate person no matter what, but I can eat the milk chocolate from Canada and it's, t it's just tastier. All right. And then I can see my numbers through this. And I, I like that. I like, I, it's, kind of, it's fun to know sometimes what you're, what's being used to create these things. And then I have this really cool strip that I can ho hopefully use and not just throw in my scrap bin to be given away at a later date. So I'm just going to get a bunch more of these down on these papers. Maybe we'll do the black one, black, white ones on here. I have these three here. And so then I'm looking at this like, um, uh, what's gonna be, are these gonna show through? Or it's gonna be a wasted effort to use my black and whites. It's gonna be wasted, isn't it? Let me see. That's a shirt. I really wanted to use this page though. Oh, not that one. I want the lines. I really wanted the lines. Yeah, see, I like that. Okay, let's do that. And um, I'm gonna go this way. And then I just decide what I wanna look at. And it's really weird. It's really, I'm really weird about this sometimes because I, I really like numbers. <laughs> I always just, I know a lot of people do, so numbers just play a different role for everybody. And so I'm looking at them like to see what it is. I like the number five and the number three, either one. I'm gonna put it down. I'm gonna put it um, um, not not shiny side down. I'm gonna put it matte side down. For this one, maybe I'll do a couple of like one matte and one shiny just to see if I if there's a difference between um, the two when they pop through color wise um, or image wise on the other side. Okay. Whoops. Anyhow, I like making these. They're so much fun. They work really good, like I said, because they're kind of heavy. I, th I find them to work really nice in the front of the journal where the, um, like when you have, well, any kind of pocket really, but especially when you do like the, po the lace pockets or the fabric pockets, I feel like it just gives it a little extra stability for uh, other things that go in there. I mean, it might just all be in my head, but you know, that's usually where I live is in my own head. So there we go. There's that one. Let's do Let's put this one down. Oh, but I like the seven, 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 seven. I'm in heaven, and I like. Okay, you know what? It's going. Matt's going down all the time. Just, I like that. I'm not the one that's going to end up with these, but also they're so sturdy that um, I can put like extra pockets. I can hinge these, and I've done that, and I've made like little booklets with these. Oh, that would be fun. I haven't done that in a long time. I've done that in a really long time. Actually, I haven't done it in so long, I don't even know if I have any in my stash anymore. So. Anyhow, yeah, so excited. I'm so excited to go um, to Canada and to go do some shopping. Gonna have to make another trip there too. One of my one of my grand girls is gonna come stay with me for a little bit. It's so nice. It's nice when I get messages from them and or their parents and um, and they're like, hey, you're um, this child of mine wants to come spend time with you. Do you want them? And I'm like, gosh dang it, you don't even have to ask me. They could literally just show up on my doorstep. They don't even have to have a bag. I'll take them and get with them what they need. Anyhow, she's, um, oh, come on, get on there. She is, how old is she now? She's th 13, she's a twin. I don't think her twin's coming with her. I think he's staying. All I know for sure is she's coming. And so I asked mom, please make sure I have her birth certificate. And uh, she was like, yep, I'll send the birth certificate and a letter. <laughs> Cause I need both of those to go across the border. And then my son, um, so her, they're not, they're not, they, they're, um, well, I guess that for a better word is they are divorced, but they, um, so I have to get a letter from each one of them saying that it's okay to take 
her across the border, and then it just has to have the dates and stuff, I think, like that on it. But I have to have the original birth certificate. So I tried it with the, I thought you only had to have the, a photocopy of it, but no. Um, they prefer the, or require or prefer, I don't know, but I had the talk, I only needed the talk one time going through the border, and so, and I take the birth certificate now. Anyhow, I want that because I want to go across the border and um, have some fun with her. There's like a little um, place to get nails done. I don't know how busy they are, but hopefully we can get in and get, you know, a, a pedicure. It'd be nice to have a little granddaughter day. I have a few grandgirls, but I think she's the only one that's coming. All right, so let's just do those for right now because uh, I, wanna, I wanna get them decorated too. So now, um, sometimes I would take my paper cutter and do this, but um, I still haven't changed my blade. And since I'm just cutting up right against this, and the other thing is if, if I would have done this a little bit more straighter, straighter, I could have just taken my um, ruler and just ripped it up it, up it. Well, I guess, can I still do that with, even without the ruler? Uh, better not try. Anyhow, or if I cut this way, I could have done it. I don't know. So I'm gonna do this anyways because I don't think my hands are not working very nicely with me this morning. So I'd rather just trim the edge and get a nice cut so I have a nice strip here. There we go, easy. That's much easier. Okay, now I can just get these cleaned up. Boy, yesterday, I don't know what happened, but my leg, my thigh, my top of my thighs, the top of my thighs, sometimes they just um, really ache, and I don't, I don't know why. Probably just getting old, but um, usually they both are achy at the same time if they're achy, and they just kind of have like, um, I don't know, like I just don't want anything to touch them. Like, I don't know, like even a, just laying a blanket on them it just is just too much weight. But um, yesterday, for whatever reason, and I don't know why, just my right, I know my, not my right one, my left, my left thigh was so pain, and, and so painful, it was in so much, I was in so much pain, it felt like, um, it felt like it was like, just, like I had to like look at my leg, I had to go look at my bare legs, I, I honestly thought that my whole entire top of my thigh, and the inside of my thigh, which I know that's too much information, but sorry, <laughs> um, was like bruised, like I felt like I had this massive bruise, and anything that touched it, like I, just anything, my fingertips, like just brushing my leg when I walked, it was in, like, just wanted to, like took my breath away, kind of, um, Anyhow, there's no bruise. There's no bruise, there's no red mark. I thought, did I bump into something? Like what in the world happened? Um, I mean, I, my craft room's full, but it's not that dangerous. That I, it's not that full, but it's so dangerous that I'm like falling down in here. So I don't know what happened, but it hurts so bad. So I usually wear my purse, I strap it up around my, um, on myself and my purse isn't really that big, but anyways. I couldn't do it because it would just touched my leg, just barely, like, just standing still. If it was, like, just touched my leg, I couldn't stand it. It hurt so bad. But it was just the one leg. Like, the other leg didn't hurt at all. Like, there's no burning feeling in there anymore. Like, that one didn't burn. It didn't hurt at all. But, whatever. Getting old is a little difficult. I mean, I, I appreciate the extra time I'm getting but to do stuff, but... <laughs> I guess it's good I got extra time because I'm a lot slower. You know? Anyhow, um, so last night I thought, I was like, oh, there's no way I'm going to get any sleep. I can't, um, my, it hurts so bad. So I um, took a couple of leaves, two leaves, which I know I shouldn't be taking those all the time, but I do because I probably take a leave. I'd probably eat that 
I eat that. I eat them like, like they're Pez. No, I'm just kidding. I, I do eat quite a few of them, though. I take, um, I don't know. I try not to. So, like, I try not to take it more than once a week. And I do it when I know that my body's hurting a lot or my hands or whatever, just so that I can get a good night's sleep. I need at least one really good night's sleep a week. Anyhow, I did. I slept good. And I woke up and there's no pain in my leg. Like, none. Like, it, like it never, ever happened. anybody else I'm sure I'm not the only one but I'm like I, I'm like googling like what what's could be causing this I'm not a very good I'm not very good at figuring that out or I think I type too many words in and um, I don't want to go to the doctor because um, you know we just live in our area like you need to and maybe it's like this everywhere I don't know I just know where I live so where I live um, basically Maybe this is just how I feel only, so um, I don't mean to offend anybody at all because I do appreciate the health care that we are able to still receive. But um, anyhow, I feel like if I don't know my symptoms good enough, and I'm not very good at explaining them, to the point where um, if I don't know them good enough to where I, I know what type of doctor works in that area, then my doctor's visit is going to consist of um, basically just jotting down the notes and then getting medication. And I don't want that. I don't want. I don't want. Um, I don't want pain medication. I don't want to cover up things. And um, I mean, if I need to take something for pain, I, I, that's one thing. But I want to know why. Why? Why that pain is there? And are there other things I can do to remedy it? Is there something I'm doing to cause it? Is it just, like, I want to know those things. But anyhow, so I need to know what kind of doctor to see. We, um, when I stopped working outside of the house on my last job, you know, that's where we got our medical insurance, which honestly costs a lot of money, even though we didn't pay into it, the, between the deductibles and the, um, I mean, I was really blessed in that last job where I didn't pay into our health insurance and my health insurance was provided for myself and my husband. But the deductibles and the co-pays were astronomical. And so, which I'm sure a lot of people can understand. <laughs> so um, I don't wanna go to, so anyhow, I don't have that insurance anymore. We do have, um, MediShare now is what I'm doing and I, and I like it and we pay we pay a whatever it's called it's not called a it's not called I don't know what it's called but anyways whatever it is if you know what MediShare is you know what MediShare is so we are doing that and there's different um, levels you can get on there on the one that you like I don't think I have to get too crazy with that so I like the one that we're on we pay like um, I think I pay like I want to say 360 bucks a month for um, my husband and I together. And we still have deductibles and co-pays and stuff like that, but honestly, in the long run, we're paying less. Even having to pay the 360 a month, we're paying less. But still, it costs, it's expensive to go to the doctor. So just to walk into the doctor's office, we have to pay, it's gonna be, um, just look at, these are the book pages. I don't know if you've seen this video yet um, when I was doing the scrap catastrophe, but in one of them, I pulled these book, these are old book pages, are from old books and the blanks from them, and I pulled these out when I was tearing them up. I'm gonna use these to start covering this. Anyhow, just to walk in the doctor's office, it's um, over $300. And then um, you have to hope that it's covered with your, with your stuff. And sometimes I'll ink them, but I think I'm not gonna be inking today because I wanna get some of these on there. But I need, a, I need my gray book. So $300 to go to a doctor, to go someplace that I already know what they're gonna do. They're gonna uh, take the notes and they're gonna give me medication. Like, what, what do you want us to do? What do you want? What do you want? I'm like, I don't know what I want. I don't know what's wrong with me. I wanna, I, and that's what I tell them. I go, I wanna know what's wrong. Like, what kind of, who do I see? You know, I'm fine with advocating for myself, but I need to know what to do. <sighs> All I know is that this, um, stuff hurts a lot okay so I think I'm just gonna do it like a couple of those at one time since I have that cut 
So sometimes I have a hard time because I know it's like gluey. I know it's an old book, but sometimes it doesn't just look grungy. It looks like dirty. And so, let me see. I can use that piece someplace else. I think I'm going to go like that. But I guess I can cover that, right? Yeah. I think I did that. Um, there, I like that. Does anybody know what I'm talking about? Was trying to figure out what your own stuff is before you go in and pay all that money. I'm gonna do it the other way. So this one, oh, I got another glue stick. I need to start getting those up, used up. I gotta put that over here in that little stash. And so, ooh. And so like where we live, so like even when my husband got hurt, if you watched that video, if you know about that, when my husband got hurt and I had to call the um, ambulance, um, so we we pay for the, is it called Life Flight? But in our area, our ambulance doesn't recognize that. So we have to pay full for that. And then the hospital that they take you to, they take you to the one that's closest. And so we live on a long stretch of highway. So you, you go from town to town. And so the one hospital, um, that we get to first is not in the, it's called, a, I guess it's considered a third party. So we have to be, we have to send in information to justify why did we go there? Well, we didn't have a choice. And um, if you go down to the next town, I think that one might be on there, but it's, the ambulance isn't gonna take you. And if they take you, they're gonna charge you more. And then since they're not in the thing, I don't, we're not gonna get any, I don't know, it's just crazy. I know we choose where we live, <clears throat> but Holy smokes. So all that big long ramble story just to tell you that I don't wanna go to the doctor because I don't, unless I know what I'm going for. I don't, I mean, I'll, it's weird we say that. We, I don't mind paying as long as I know, but I, I do mind, I do mind. <laughs> just kidding. If I have to pay, I guess is the way to say, if I have to pay, I want it to be, you know, I want it to be worth the payment. I don't want to just go in and get on a scale, pee in a cup, write some notes down and get sent home with some pain medication that I don't want. That's not worth $300 to me. take this book page um, and just put that on the other side. So usually what I do, let me grab these other ones out. I like to try to, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. I like to pick like three different things to collage with and sometimes it only works out to the two and then I find my elements. Um, this one I was doing the three and then I found my elements. Um, and so if I just, and I don't have to stick with my three, but if I have that in mind, I think it helps my eyes to um, find stuff that I'm, I'm liking. So. Okay, I like that. It's kind of like a boot. I like it should go that way though, but it's got that horse. I don't want the horse. Well, so be it. It'll be this one. I think I'll put that one in the middle. And then this is where I think I would probably more than likely want to ink it a little bit. Just for this one, we'll see. I just like the book page a little, just a little bit. I don't need a lot, I just need, I don't think I need a lot. I just want a tiny bit just to pop it out a little bit. Yeah, see, just like that. Doesn't need a whole lot, not in my eyes. And so let's get another piece over here. And then another thing I sometimes I like to do is I pull that piece over here. Maybe we should try that since I already have that. Yeah, why not? Okay.
So I'm gonna go um, to, I'm gonna go hopefully get some fun stuff over in Canada. And I'm going to, and I, I get to have this little shopping, this little shopping thing. Hopefully it's, hopefully I find some good stuff. But this little shopping spree is gonna be, is thanks, thanks to, thanks to my good friend Debbie here. Thank you. Oh my gosh, You're so generous of you to, um, I guess, um, I guess it was kind of like, um, what would you call it? A sponsor. You sponsor. You're sponsoring a shopping spree for me. Thank you. <laughs> I was so that was such a generous gift of you to send that to me. I really appreciate that and I'm I can't wait to have fun I get a little nervous videoing when I'm shopping sometimes depending on where it's at because I don't know Like are you supposed to ask people like hey, can I video in your store? And then I'm like thinking well, I would think they would want me to I mean I would would want someone to because Other people see the stuff that I have right and then they want to come but I don't know some people Maybe I should just ask but then I feel awkward asking like hey, can I just video this? What's the worst they can do? Say no. You get 100% of what you do not ask for. So, there you go. There. See, isn't that nice? And then I already have my little backdrop. So, I can literally, <clears throat> if all I had time to do was do, do a bunch of these, and then I have them, they're ready for me to um, decorate on the front. Oops, let's see. And then, and I don't really care right now about that because a lot of times, so like this one, you'll see how I like to put those metal, gosh, I got that stuff sticky all over my hands. I like to put those in. They're nice. Um, but sometimes, like I said, I'll, I'll sew or I'll sew the ruffle and then I'll stick the ruffle on there or a tag or a, ta a tag, a tab of some sort. I do like to round my edges, even if it's just a little bit, keep them from just, you know, fraying, fraying away. Whoops. I know you're supposed to do this upside down so you can see where you're going. I don't know what my problem is. I do not like to do it upside down. But that's why I messed that up because I didn't. Good enough. So I just like to go around the edges. I have lots of different colors I could use, but I think for the most part, I stick with the vintage photo just to keep it consistent. So when I'm coming back to projects, I know. But honestly, I, I like to mix the colors. I don't know why I let myself get stuck on just using one color sometimes because I look at other things I've made and I've used inks um, for you know inking and edging and different things. And I've used different colors throughout and they're pretty, they're, they're still very pretty. So let's see if we can find a couple of cute some images to put on this one at least. We need to get at least one of these done all the way. So here's stuff that we already made a while back. That's too big. Um, let's see what we have in here. So, you know, like this is just torn pieces. Like honestly, like all those scrap, all my scrap tastery stuff, this is stuff that I could have been doing, but I didn't do it. Um, this is cute like that. That's a nice one. I like that. Um, I don't want that. Okay, so we went in through there. This is already a saying, so now I need something to be on the back of it. So let's put that one aside. Um, I have my little tray of um, textured type papers and things. So those can be, oh, see, that's cute. Um, and then I have this doily that I never use that I was, um, Got these little butterflies on there. Um, let's see. I kind of want to tear it around these flowers. Get my butterfly out. And then I have that like that little piece I can use on there. Okay. Maybe that's all it was. You know, you gotta, I gotta concentrate on tearing this thing up or I just tear the butterfly apart. So actually, let me see. I can pull that down there a little bit or like right there. Oh, I kind of like that. Okay, and then I think I'm liking um, just those little flowers off the end at the moment. So that's too much. I don't want to put her in there. But now see, now, now this became an image. <laughs> so now I'm gonna put it over there in my 
in my image tray because then I, that's where I'll know to use that. And then these are my little scraps over here. So let's do this. I like this one right here. Oh, and I maybe I liked it because of that green. It's kind of pulling in from that paper, maybe. And then I feel like I kind of want this to have a little bit of a backing of some sort on here. Let's see really quick if I can find it um, in my other scrappy stuff. So this was something I had in my scrap catastrophe video. I don't know if it's posted or not yet, but I'm just gonna go ahead and rip this out. And these were like, um, this is from a digi kit, and I think these are supposed to be like little tea cards, but sometimes I like to use them um, just for things like this. So I can use that as the background page, but I think that's a little bit too big, and maybe I don't want it to be so nicely done. And I might just destroy this because um, I might be making it too small. I should have just tore it to begin with. I know I like the torn edge. I don't know why I skip it. I think it just gives me so much more freedom to um, not be perfect with my cuts. And I know I know nobody's perfect. Nothing is perfect, but I'm definitely way not. <laughs> and so, um, if I do this, if I start off like that, yeah, there we go. I think that's better. Okay, so I'm gonna have that there. Let me just, I'm gonna glue them down one at a time. That's gonna be the easiest thing. So um, I think I would like it would be that wood. <laughs> right there. Okay, and I liked it about right there, right? I think kind of in there somewhere, isn't it? And then I wanted to do this one. And that's going to go like that. And it's just going to come off of it a little bit. Into the side. There we go. Get that little fuzz off my glue stick. And there we go. And then I'm going to put this one like right there. Like so. Oh, for a second there I thought I put it on there upside down. That, that be that would be funny oh and I, there we go so now this right here is not the easiest thing to do is it so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try this little thing that I liked that I haven't done it in a while because I haven't been well I haven't been collaging in a while really so I think I'm gonna take my fabric tack I'm just gonna drop my glue down I don't know if you can see this hopefully it works otherwise you're gonna see me have a secret here I'm just gonna drop some of this glue down. I know, kind of a waste, but in the long run, it's gonna save me time and other insanity. Time and sanity. That, and I'm just gonna pop that down in there like that, and then lift it up. And just kind of drop it in there, and then I'm gonna put it over here, like a so. Oops, I got it stuck in my finger. I watch Rhoda, my friend Rhoda, our friend Rhoda, our wonderful, beautiful friend Rhoda. Um, and she uses tweezers all the time and I'm so envious of being able to, her being able to, I'm so envious of her being able to hold those tweezers. But I know what she's gonna tell me. She's gonna tell me it just takes practice, you can do it. <laughs> I don't know, my hands don't work that good. Oh, I lost my other little piece somewhere here with all my little, my sweater grabbed it, I think. What the heck? I don't know, and my glue's gonna dry. So I have that little corner piece that I want to go right there as a stand up. Well, you guys probably seen it like flip somewhere, but I don't see it. Let me look. Oh, there it is right there. I'm gonna see if I have enough glue still in there without having to tack this down. I don't want that to stick on there. Oh, I think it's, nope, not quite. So 
So the reason why I'm doing it like this is because I feel it's just easier for me so the glue doesn't all pop through my thing and I'm not, and I can't run a glue stick on it. And if I run my glue stick on my paper, which is also an option, I have to, it's gonna be sticky all the way around it, right? And I don't want that either. I just wanted something like this here. To come down, just lock up that. So this is, um, this image right here, it's, a st it's two different stamps that I have. So I stamped the frame um, and then I stamped this sentiment and they're from two different stamp things. The frame one I bought, I think it was like on Amazon, I just put in like frames. And then this stamp right here, if I, I, I don't know, it could be something I got from Stampin' Up or something else. But there, there's that. I mean, I think it's a little bit plain that white is, let me see. Sometimes I feel like I might, I might mess it up, but, but. And you can see it didn't get all the way down. I can always go back in and fix that it later, but for the most part it's down. I don't have a big glop, gloppy mess, which is always nice to not have. Okay, there's one down, that took forever. Looks like I made a cross, but it's pretty. I like it. <laughs> okay, and then um, I just put a little uh, doohickey in there, unless I want to put a ruffle. To. I have this box of ruffles. Box, it's a basket, but I have all these ruffles. And, and I can just stick, let's see. That's kind of cute. My very messy sewing. And see, I can just put something like that and then just let it hang down. I think I'm going to do that real quick. Whoops. And I'm going to just staple it. I'm actually not going to use my tiny attacher. I'm going to use my regular stapler, I think, because it's pretty thick. There we go. Yep, I like that. It's going to give it a nice hang right there. And then I'm just going to snip that off right there. There we go. There, I like it. I think that's cute. Um, and then if I wanted to add this little tail for a little bit extra texture, I sure can, couldn't I? Let me see. I think I could. But I feel like this is just going to end up like in my garbage if I don't do something with it. Yeah, that's cute. Let's do it. Just got to get in the groove, right? Do a little bit of time and see where it lands. There we go. And then that'll cover up the staple on that side if I don't want to see it, or if I just want the satin thing, whatever. There, cute, I like it. I'm just doing it kind of slow because I'm not really sure how long I want this or where I want it to land. There we go. I think that's cute, just like that. I don't think I need it to go over the top though, do I? I'm just trying to like be conscientious to use my stuff. So cause I, I end up with so many scraps. I think I'm going to take it over the top here. And then, I think I'm done with it. I think I can. I think I can say goodbye to that little piece. <laughs> All right. Well, I did. I did. I'm proud of myself. I did very good using up the majority of that thing. I have a little thready here. Let me just snip that little loop off. There. There. I might have to go in and do a couple little touches on that, but I'm gonna let that rest for now, so I don't just like over saturate it with this glue. And there. Isn't that cute? Kind of like my little tab there. I feel like I made it look like a 
thing by putting this piece right here, but um, do I? But it's too, is it too late now? It's kind of late now, isn't it? No, it's not. It's not too late. I'm gonna I'm gonna ch I'm gonna changing it. Okay. Because I really liked the look of that tag, like that. See, I liked that. So this is gonna go. I'm just gonna scrunch it up. down here, I think, like, like so, like that. Okay, I really have that down now, it's not coming back up. <laughs> yeah. Yep, much better. I like that better. And then once that dries, I can, I can maybe get that glue off a little bit. There we go. All right, tell me what you think. I like it. We got I got one 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 completed, pretty much completed, and then um, I have all these other ones to do. So, um, I hope you like this. I hope you guys make some of these. They're really fun. And I'll see you on the next video. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy all your moments. Bye.